Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is Electrolux Pure i9, aka Carol. This video, it's something that you can call user experience. I have Carol for about seven months now, and obviously, as you can see from the title, I'm super happy about it. But I will focus on small, sometimes silly things that I have come across during this period, and you might find useful maybe before buying Electrolux Pure i9. Before we will start, here is a question. Do you also give names, silly or normal names, to things around you? Like, obviously, this is Carol, Hugo and Jasmine, Rishko, The Beast. And if you like to see cool videos about The Beast, the link is on the top. And Katka. Huh? I don't think she will find it funny. Anyway, if you have a cool name, just write them into a comment. If you like what I do, don't forget to subscribe or hit the like button. Thank you very much for that. And now let's get going. So why Carol? Why why this uh, Electrolux Pure i9? It's it's a super cool thing that we have bought. Still can't believe I'm talking about vacuum cleaners being useful. Getting old. What is definitely cool about it is that you can program it, and Carol works on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, have a look on this. Hopefully you can see it. This is. Just one day cleaning, okay? I think we have pretty clean flat. We have 80 square meters. Believe it or not, after putting furniture and everything, according to the app, the real floor, like in square meters, it's just 40 square meters. I was kind of surprised by that. Why I have chosen um, basically this Electrolux? Uh, because I like the shape, because it was brand new thing on the market. I'm kind of, you know, tech freak. I like my cameras, drones, and this was a brand new thing on the market. It was quite costly. And are you surprised by this? It came like this in the box, like some kind of a expensive bag for, for girls. Uh, but you know, the price tag was 700, more than 700 euros. Now we can buy it somewhere around 600, something like that. Anyway, it was super cool buy, as I said, but, and this is the main story of today's topic, there are some things that I'm not super happy about, some things that are sometimes a little bit annoying, and some things that Electrolux can do a little bit better. Let's now talk about those silly troubles. Okay, so first thing is, it's the battery, several points towards this. I think Carol is losing the, the capacity quite significantly. I don't know if it's because of updates. We haven't really changed a lot in our flat. Uh, but when he started, he was cleaning from 9 till I think 1 o'clock. Uh, the thing is, he needed to charge fully once and then he was all okay. Now, because he needs to charge twice, uh, it takes him like up to 3 o'clock, so additionally 2 hours. And a friend of mine has the Pure i9 as well. Uh, he's, he, he's facing the same experience. So there is a quite significant, you know, uh, lose of capacity of batteries. Another, another story is it's charging. With electrical guys, they, they schedule it or they have planned it like, okay, dude, you will clean until 95% of your battery is gone. Then you will start to search for your, for your plug-in station. Well, it's good because you are using the batteries to the top capacity, but sometimes you will find Carol, you know, just being like 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters to the docking station or plug-in station, and he simply just dies there. Uh, sometimes you will find him somewhere in a flat uh, because he's not the brightest thing on, on the planet. Sorry, man. Uh, he runs out of the power. So sometimes like from 10 times, I would say two or three times you will find him maybe two or three is too much but one or two times you will f you can find him somewhere in a flat out of juice just just lying there and having having his fun time next thing is the area that he needs basically i would call it this way first of all where you have a plug-in station you need to have i think at least one meter on the left one meter on the right and two meters in the back if you don't have the space available you might face trouble like we do. Uh, come on, I will not give him that much space. What happens then is that he go on his GT and he simply cleans like one meter and stuff like that. And then he says, ah, f it, and he's done for the day. 
when he's leaving the room, you have that small bump or stair, or I don't know how you would like to call it. It's not stair, it's just a bump uh, between the rooms. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the light, I don't know if it's because uh, he, he sees it as an obstacle, but sometimes he will not leave the room. I don't know why it is, but this can happen really a lot, like really, really, like two or three times out of ten. Next thing towards areas and items around, we try to make his work a little bit easier. We have the dining room table with the chairs like this. We try to help him with the setup. As I said, he's not the brightest person and he can get kind of, you know, in a cycle stuck there. So we move the chairs uh, in the way that he can clean a little bit easier. So it's at every, every time he cleans, basically it's a routine for us, try to get obstacles out of his way. When I'm talking about obstacles, I'm talking also about animals. Guys, if you do have animal at home, think twice. Rishko, Rishko is okay because Rishko is in his duplex during the day. He likes to sleep during the day, that's fine. But if you have a dog, dog likes to sometimes can make a puppy and this is really a true story from my friend the doggy was sick little then the vacuum cleaner has started and trust me he was not laughing the same way as i did when he told me the story we have just a normal like let's call it a wooden floor but if you have a carpet we do have one carpet that is in the middle of the big room uh, it doesn't have a big hair, it's just really like like normal small tiny hair. He can, Carol can jump I think like one centimeter, maybe maybe I think even two. Uh, because he has some, some things in here that can, you know, make him pop a little. Maybe. I don't know how he does it anyway. Uh, he can live with it, but we have tested it in different flats. And when there was a, a carpet with a higher hair, it was not working at all because the brush basically was stuck in the carpet. The last thing I would like to comment is the app or not really an app, maybe the functionalities. Uh, this is how it looks basically. Yeah, that's that's how you can see what he's doing, where he is at the moment if it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Uh, the app, it's, I think on one side it's good because it's not really crashing. I'm using Android, that's all fine. On the other hand, I'm, I'm missing some functionalities. Okay, and basically what we are using is that uh, Carol goes on his duty Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that's all fine, on the scheduled time, he's punctual, that's fine. But sometimes I'm super lazy when I'm gonna drop something on the floor that is not wet, just like rice or whatever. I, I don't clean anymore, I don't vacuum clean anymore, I take uh, Carol, I put him on a place, I hit the spot and he cleans the area. Trust me, you think it's silly? No, you will be doing it. Once you will have a robotic vacuum cleaner you will do zero vacuum cleaning trust me but what i do miss carol can do only one meter like once what the carol can do only one square meter basically that's how he's programmed and that's something i do miss here that maybe there should be an option to choose also to do two square meters i think roomba can do two uh and this is something like then you need to move him or or Rishko is on the carpet, he loses his uh, head, so I need to, you know, I would like to vacuum clean, I need to hit it once, I need to hit it twice uh, in order to, you know, go around the, the whole carpet. That's one thing I'm missing. The second thing I'm missing, and I really think it's a matter of programming, guys. Don't tell me you need to have a new robot to do it. In, in case you can really see this, that means the robot knows where he was, right? I think it's a matter of programming that the robot will remember the area. I think that would be super useful because the robot knows, okay, I have three rooms to do. Uh, here is maybe a door. If the door is closed, I'm not going there. But if it's not, I'm, I'm better be going there because my owner is gonna be pissed. Yes, Carol has a problem sometimes for some reason, I don't know why, is not really cleaning the whole flight. Sometimes he says, it, I'm not doing it, I'm lazy today, not cleaning half of the half of the bedroom. I don't know why. Guys, this is pretty much it I wanted to share. If you have any questions, write them into a comment. For me, out of 10 times, seven times or eight times, he's super good. Two times he's just, you know, we call him a lazy from time to time. So, you know, he will not do his job, but still, for me, that makes super big sense to have a vacuum cleaner like this and, uh, you know, to make my life easier. If you like what I do, 
hit the subscribe button and give me a like uh, for this video. And most importantly, remember, always have fun.